telephones. Ooh, it's an old phone. Ooh, I'm so trendy with my old- That's not old! Oh my gosh, this has yellowed. It's wild to see that a house phone is novel now. Well, mate, this is why us millennials are completely cooked, hey? Like, this is the phone that I had as a kid. Not the exact one, I'd find it again. This is how us Aussies know this is ancient. Look, it says telecom. But as a kid, no one had mobiles, mate. Like, as soon as you left the house, you were untraceable. <laughs> it's a dream nowadays. You would call the house and then ask for one of its residents. But like, my first lick of the internet was when I was eight years old, and by the age 13 I was depending on it for sustenance. My generation we had the exact same childhood as current kids which is just depending on the internet from like a young age but this and a world without internet or computers was also normal. We relate to too many generations. And just like current phones with fun cases and wallpapers and whatnot, mate, people had fun with their telephones. Like, all phones basically sound the same, like through the speakers and whatnot, and that's- Oh, jeez. And that's a limitation of like the phone's infrastructure. It's designed to be reliable, not sound good. But the big thing I want to hear is the ring. The ring it makes. Now, like, you'd think that'd be dead easy, mate, because like you just plug her into your landline and off you go. Well, like, here's the thing, I don't have a landline anymore. I, I don't. Like, why? Why would I have a house phone anymore? And so, fun enough, it's actually a little bit tricky to just have a button that makes these ring. Well, that's when we enter this thing! It's a power supply for telephones built in 1975. Of course, my old mate James would just have one of these laying around and has even made a button to just make the ringer work. James, everybody. He does have his own channel, by the way, where he makes his own portable Super Nintendo. Oh, God. Oh. See what happens. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this again. Oh! <laughs> I'll get it. Huh? Dad! Give it, give it, give it, give it, wait. All right. It's time to bring out the novelty telephones. And the first one is, ooh la la. Ooh, <laughs> the, the grand piano. <laughs> Which is interesting, because it's not plugged in yet, so, hmm. And those aren't the tones for the numbers, right? That, you know, do, 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 whatever it is. No, those are, like, the actual notes on a keyboard. It's gorgeously yellowed. That's how you know it's classy. <laughs> this looks like the sort of phone that would be in a smoker's house. Ooh la la! <laughs> Piano! <laughs> so yellow. Telecoast Australia, helping Australians communicate with fanciness. Oh no! Oh, it's got old... Uh, no, we're just gonna leave that in there. Imagine the gossip this thing had to listen to. I'm not speaking to you anymore, Kelly! Better sound triple fancy. Not double fancy, I want triple fancy. Oi! That's not fancy. Hang on. Uh. Oh! No! My fancy phone! Oh, she's gone, mate. She's straight up gone. Why does this work and the phone bit not work? Oh, I'm so crushed. <laughs> Shut up. All right, mate, let's get actual fancy. It's a Coke bottle phone. How could this be a phone, right? You look at this, you go, I, no, I can't even see it. Well, luckily they've drawn it for us. <laughs> She is not looking healthy. She is not, she's not doing well. She actually looks quite distressed. Sweetie, I hope that is the Coke bottle phone because you might just be picking up random objects and talking to them. Plug, socket, ki keyboard, that's pushing it. Actually Australian delivered, that's so funny. Whoa, it's complete with wall bracket and screws. Extra long cord. It was easy to sell features back then. Oh wow, this is old. Look, in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong, this is old. Oh, goody. Styrofoam. I haven't looked in here yet. It could be full of rocks for all I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that warranty. I wonder if it's still good. Coat bowl phone. Instruction manual. It's more like a card. How to plug it in and and that's it. <laughs> 1985. Yep, there's not really a lot to this. Oh. Oh, ew. Ew. Is someone trying to clean or is someone... Tried to glue something back on. I think someone now nah, that's been glued back on. That's what. Okay. Yep. That's the plastic holster. <laughs> what? Imagine smashing out a T9 Tex on this thing. Ooh, they're gushy. And that's the hang up. I like that it works anywhere. You really could just have this sitting on the counter like this, and it would be a fun. So yeah, you just pick it up and use it. It is actually kind of neat. I think the crappiest bit is this. It, like if you just had this sitting on the counter. 
Well, actually, mm, then if some kid knocked it over, no one would be able to call the house. It's all plastic, but it's all right. Gotta hear that ring, though. Ooh. What? Okay. That's not the ringer. No. I think it's all effed up. It sounds like a cricket just going brr, brr. When I first press it, we're like, I'm barely, barely got working. That's really crap. That's, that's disappointing. Ring, 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 ring. Hamburger phone. Why does every crappy low tier thing arrive like this? What's the point of having shipping companies if all they do is destroy things? Yeah, had to find some modern low tier thing. Like this is brand spanking new. This is not vintage at all. <laughs> it better look just like this or I'm gonna be super mad. Flash, clean the dialed number when press this button and dial another number directly. Oh, that's a hamburger phone. That's a hamburger phone! Oh yeah, baby. Please note that too many telephones on one line can cause some of the telephones to cease ringing out of jealousy. Hamburger phone. <laughs> All right, I like this one. <laughs> it's actually better than in the pictures. What? TM, you can't copy this. Uh, it's like a guillotine. Why can't they make a mobile phone version of this? Yeah, where all it does is make calls, but it's mobile. <laughs> That's excellent. I, I, I like it. I like it. It better have the best ringer of all of them. <laughs> that's the best ring yet. That's heaps classic. What does that button do? Oh, that's literally how it hangs up. It pushes this little detent into this. That's, that's high tech. What more would you expect from the burger phone? <laughs> Yeah, but have a new mate. What can I do for you? This makes me want to have a landline again. Well, mate, I saved the coolest one for last, and I actually think this would be cool. Some of your dads out there are gonna be going, "Oh, mate, I totally have that." Oh, it's the Kawasaki Ninja motorcycle telephone. <laughs> a genuine Kawasaki motorcycle telephone. <laughs> What year is this from? It has to be 90s, and actually now that I'm looking at it, that headpiece looks like it's a piece of crap. It's, yeah, it's just a big slab of nothing. But Kawasaki Ninja, mate, come on, that's super neat. Oh, it's got race boys all over it. How can it be crap? It better ring. That's that's what I wanted. Is this brand new? Did nobody want the Kawasaki motorcycle telephone? <laughs> oh, it stinks in it. Oh, safety instructions, always wear a helmet. Wear your crash safety gear. Wear a seatbelt. Wait, yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a telephone, really. You just plug it in and hang it up. I'm worried this is brand new. <laughs> it's brand new, man! No one wanted this? Ah, oh, I'm, I'm experiencing like the dream Father's Day, basically. It was like, Dad, you can have this in the shed. Oh, why didn't I open up this one first? It came with, ooh, get out of the way. Will this ring? No, you piece of junk. I hate you. Ah. But whoa, look at this crumpet. Yeah, it's a big slab of plastic, but it's in the shape of a Kawasaki Ninja. Oh, that's eats fun. Look, well, mate, the seat and the fuel tank and, and the pillion area is the, the, the hand piece, hey? Which is strangely heavy. Oh, I can't wait to speed dial triple zero on this baby. Yep, this is just a... I mean, it's all pre-assembled, which is good. No tread on the front tires. That is not road legal. Or the back. Boo. I do like how the cables go into the back. That, that is a nice touch. Hook up the dingus guy. Barely goes in. Don't tell me this is low tier crap. I like how the RPM gauge is wound like all the way around. Here we go, ring, ring. Oh, what? Really? It sounds like a semi backing up. Oh, what a pile of rubbish. How can I prefer the hamburger phone over this? Like, it's in the shape of a Kawasaki Ninja. That is the crappiest ring out of all of them. I'd rather the telecom phone, and I mean it. And it's not even comfortable to hold. Like, you feel like an idiot. And, and here I am wondering why no one bought this. Can you believe it was brand new? Happily put this back in its tomb. Glad they make it easy. Well, that's very sad when my favorite's uh, the telecom touch phone. And I, I can't believe that my favorite is the burger phone. It makes the best sound. It has the best aesthetic. It's a piece of junk. 
but which one of these isn't? And uh, by far the most disappointing one was the piano, who uh, didn't survive its trip to the floor, and which means it won't survive this second one. Oh well. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Shoot, thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because my one dollar month I'll do extra videos. There's extra videos on Garbage Time, which is my car thing, and then the drum thing, which is my drum thing. I, I play drums on float plane like five times a week. But extra dank pods, mate. Like, we're looking at phones still, right? I saved one more for you. It looks super cute, and it's actually just as confusing. It's the Snoopy phone. I, I don't know how anything here could be a phone, but that's what we're gonna find out. So, thanks so much, mate. I'll see you next time.